here we are. <laughs> Namaste to everyone that's joining me on this Facebook Live impromptu kind of thing, spur of the moment. Here I am. <laughs> so um, I've got a few things I want to cover. It's not a lot of things I'm going to be talking about, but um, a few things I definitely want to cover. It's, you're going to be really interested in this. Um, to say hi to Norma and Michelle joining me right now, and Melissa and Teresa, who just wrote an article for us on N5D. Check it out. It was posted yesterday. It's an awesome article. Thank you, Teresa. Much gratitude. She's going to be writing some more articles, too, so looking forward to that. Um, then Kim Hutchinson just had an article today, too, um, and she's getting, she's getting the, the writing juices going, and I love Kim's work as well, so um, looking forward to to that. So <laughs> there's a woman here. Uh, her name is Mary Pierasquitz. Uh, that's the best I can pronounce it, but it's very similar to what my father's real name was in Polish. Um, after my sister was born, he changed our last name to Prescott. So, you know, basically my, my family name died dies with my father, um, who's no longer his previous name anyway, but it's very similar to Mary's <laughs> last name. I think I asked her if she likes pierogies, too, because um, you know, it's a Polish last name, and my daughter and I would make homemade pierogies, and they're just fantastic. We'd make like 70 of them, and then freeze them. Yummy. So, if you don't know what a pierogi is, it's, uh, this pos it's kind of like a ravioli, but it's uh, you make a homemade pasta dough, and then what I do is I, I put in uh, mashed potatoes, um, caramelized onions, and cheese, and stir it all together, put it inside the dough, and then you boil it until it rises, take it out of the, the boiling water, and then you fry it afterwards in butter. <laughs> and then you, <clears throat> you have uh, sour cream on the side. It's yummy. So yeah, it's one of the things that I loved making with my daughter, Brett. So I posted a question here, and uh, before I get to it, I just want to hear your, uh, your answers. And the question is, which household item gives off the highest EMF reading? And I presented some options, a shiatsu back massager, a microwave oven, an ozone machine, a Bose wireless speaker, an internet router, a television, or a cell phone. So which one do you think puts out the highest EMF reading? Now, I got onto this because I was talking to a friend of mine, and she ended up buying this thing called Total Shield. And apparently it's, it, you know, it stands about maybe that tall or so, and uh, it's got the Tesla coil on the inside. And it's supposed to blink these lights at a Schumann resonance reading, you know, 7.86 or whatever that is. So, uh, you know, I looked into it, and this one person actually took it apart, and all you saw was the, the copper wire round, uh, wound up and, like, this little electrode kind of thing where the lights are blinking. And it just looked really chintzy, but... And, you know, it did have, you know, some people returned it immediately, but a lot of people liked it. So, you know, and apparently my friend likes it as well. So if you guys have it, let me know if that works or not. It's called, like I said, it's called Total Shield, and it costs about $350. But um, what I'm going to be doing in a little while is I, I just got this, and it's an EMF detector. And I'm going to give you a live demonstration and what I'll be doing, um, and I'm going to give you the report right now uh, on this video of what I found so far, but I'll be doing an N5D Patreon uh, video for my um, subscribers who uh, qualify for the behind the scenes. And I'll be taking people around my house, outside, and showing people um, what a typical reading is in all these different places, and I'll have the live shots going on it. So, you know, if you're with me on Patreon, that's your little bonus. So thank you for joining me on Patreon. Um, and before I get to that, you know, I made that post and I talked about 
it afterwards about Jeff Sessions and the whole QAnon thing. And, you know, Jeff Sessions is not making some really good calls on what he's been representing and doing. But, you know, it is quite well possible that he is playing that role of an actor. So um, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. And, uh, but yet, you know, now there's, which kind of makes me think that he is playing the actor because now there's this hashtag fire sessions thing going on on Twitter. And when stuff like that goes viral, you got to think that the cabal is behind it, <laughs> you know? So um, I think giving sessions the benefit of, of the doubt right now is the right thing to do, but we'll see. You know, I still kind of think the things that he's done is very fucktardish, but we'll see. Um, what I did see, though, on the QAnon page, this was pretty interesting. And it's, this is a copy they put it on. This is actually one of the unsealed documents. And if you look at the date on it, uh, when it was unsealed, May 16th. 2018. And that was for Anthony Weiner, the dude with the laptop with all the crap on it. Yeah, and Q posted that on his QAnon page and, you know, a copy of, you know, whatever this is. And apparently certain people that have um, connections to law are able to access and you can look out, look for the uh, particular web address. We can't access that, you or, you or me, um, because we don't have that law credential, but I thought that was interesting. So apparently the indictments, the sealed indictments are being unsealed as of the 16th, two days ago. Let's see what else. So what I want to get to and show you guys, okay, hang on, before I get there, look at the comments here. <laughs> <clears throat> Christina uh, Oyletchen, Oy, Oy, said $350. My, oh, my God. I'd rather go buy more crystals for blocking EMF. I'll be touching along something along those lines in a minute. Audrey Storbeck is saying sessions wrote to all the other senators who were supposed to sign without knowing what the TPP really was. Good man. Okay. All right. Okay. So, like I said, I bought this EMF detector on Amazon. And uh, let me read what they say, the EPA says, about what a typical reading is, should be, with any kind of EMF waves that are going out there. Okay, it says, uh, common household appliances can create harmful EMFs. EMFs are measured in milligauss mg. The EPA recommends that you limit your exposure to 0 0.5 to 2.5 mg. When you are three feet away from a microwave, you are exposed up to 25 mg. So um, just a quick hi to Mac and Gerald and Cynthia from Denver. So I put it out there um, in the beginning, and if you're just tuning in, I asked the question, and I'm curious about what your answer is, which household item gives off the highest EMF reading? And your options are a shiatsu back massager, a microwave oven, an ozone, ozone machine, a Bose wireless speaker, an internet router, a TV, or a cell phone. What do you guys think? I got the answers. <laughs> so. It was really surprising. I just got this yesterday, and um, it surprised me some of the things that I read about how, like, those Keurig coffee makers, even when they're not being used, 
apparently put out all these EMFs. I have a Keurig uh, coffee maker. I don't drink coffee, but um, I do have one, and I, I did measure that. And when I had that on, uh, the highest I, I got was 5.9, which is more than double the recommended limit of exposure. And when it was off, nothing. But some people were saying, depending on the Keurig coffee maker, that even when they're off, they're still emitting dangerous levels of EMFs. So, so a couple people are saying the router, a couple people are saying the cell phone, which is interesting. You, know, you would think, logically, I would think a microwave. And I'm going to rule that one out. It's not the microwave, even when the microwave's on. So, um, some other things that I, I measured, like were a uh, chest freezer and a refrigerator freezer. Nothing. Nothing. They're fine. Um, of course, m mine's an older model, and maybe some of these smart refrigerator freezers could be putting out EMFs. What else did I measure? Oh, I have a water machine. Um, I had these five-gallon jugs of Zephyr Hill water that um, I have in a, a water machine. Nothing, which is good. I'm glad to hear that. If I could only find this in five-gallon jugs, I would be so happy. <laughs> the 10 pH water. I love it. Anyway, so the fridge and the water machine and the chest freezer, they were fine. Uh, Nancy's asking, I'd be curious about a portable air conditioner. I wouldn't know. I'd be curious, too. I've got central air where I'm at. So, yeah, that would, that would be a good. So, so a lot of people are saying cell phone. Okay. So, like I said, the Keurig was only 5.9, but it still was more than double of the allotted amount of EMFs. <coughs> so... What else did I do? I did a Norelco wireless uh, trimmer, beard trimmer, uh, which is basically how I shave. You notice I have like scruff all the time. I'll just take that over that. I don't fully shave. Well, I don't do that very often. I like the scruff. <laughs> but I did that, and that topped out at 5, which is more than double the recommended EMF. Just a, a portable beer trimmer. I thought that was crazy. Got one here for the router. Okay, that was Melissa. The sand the router. A toaster. Get this. This thing on a toaster. <laughs> the toaster was almost 20 when it was on. Almost 20. It's crazy. Um, and these are the lower of the ones that I've measured. You would think a laptop would be on there, and it's pretty high, but not as high as some of the ones that I'm going to be talking about. And that's one of the reasons why I got this. I don't know about you guys, but I've got my other laptop over here. But do you ever sit there like this? and type away. What happens is I feel a burning on top of my knees where that connection is on my laptop. I can actually feel the pain. If you guys are energy sensitive at all, you're going to feel it too. It's like a dumb, a num, I'm sorry, a numb kind of just pain, like a, like a very dull, numb pain that's going on in both legs, but more predominantly on my right side. I've always felt that whenever I've sat like that with my computer, with my laptop. So I'm going to give you a live reading with a laptop right now. And I find that it's most powerful up here. So let's, let's see what's, what's going on here. So we pick up at 20, 30, 45, 62, 64, 65, 62 it peaked out at. As we go down, it's not as bad until you get to the bottom. And we're hitting, I saw 27 there, 50-something, 40, yeah. And back up here, 
27, 31. Yeah. Look at that, 181. Crazy. That's from a laptop. And that, if you guys ever sit the way I sat and feel that kind of numb, dull pain in your legs, that's why. Okay? Um, Christy Lang is saying, I can feel the rays coming off the keyboard and the wireless mouse also. That's a good one. You know, I didn't try that. Let's try the wireless mouse. See, there's a little something going on there, but not much. Not much on, on this mouse. But I've got another one for this computer that I'm using right now, and we'll see what's going on here. This one's a little bit stronger than the other one. But not much. There's not a lot coming out of the mouse. And that's surprising. So we also had, I was mentioning the Bose wireless speaker. It's up here. So here it is. And it's off right now. Oh my gosh. It's, it's off right now. I saw 148 up there. Twenty-three, thirty-two, eleven, eighteen, twenty-four. Let me spin it around a little. There was eighty-one, one thirty something. Sorry about the beeping sound too. I know that's annoying, but this is important. 149, 128, let's turn it on. I love what it says. <laughs> this is the name of my phone. Battery, 70%. Connected to Nunya Bidness. Nunya Bidness. <laughs> but it's on. And now where are we at? Let's, let's see. 61, 38. I'm sorry about this camera angle. I gotta do everything backwards, upside down. Okay. And I'm just spinning it around right now and moving it back and forth. It actually seems to have higher readings when it was off. Isn't that something? But now you can see that it's on with the light right there. So, But when I did the reading, oh my gosh, <laughs> when I did the reading earlier, um, it peaked out at 150 um, for the wireless speaker. So there's certain areas and certain points that you can get higher readings on. And it was hard to manipulate the angle of everything and hold the phone out or the uh, EMF reader out as I was doing that. And yeah, yes, Linda, that was turned off um, when I just did it. Um, and when I did it before, it was like right now. I'll do it. I'll re redo it again. It's off. You don't see you don't see that light lit on the on the speaker. But that fifty three eighty something. 75, 128, and it's off. Battery, 70%. Connected to Nunya Business. There's 100. Of course, when you move further away, it decreases. So if, if I'm sitting three or four feet away from it, I'm fine. I'm not going to get those EMFs. But you got to wonder if they're also cumulative. So you got, you know, 40, 50 on average from this and, you know, 40, 50 on average from a laptop. And all this wireless crap is going on. All these EMFs are being put out there. You got to wonder what it does to your brain, you know, what are in all of our internal organs. So Sabrina 
early, hurley, apostrophe, hurl, apostrophe y. I'm guessing it's still early. She says, so are we empaths more sensitive to EMP? And if so, why? I would say so. Um, because, I mean, who's really talking about that? Um, like I said, when, when you're sitting there like this, and you feel that on your on your knees, you're feeling that dull burning sensation on your knee. No one's talking about that, but I think energy, you know, sensitives and empaths would, because we're, we're picking up on that, and it's really important that, you know, we get this stuff out there and for people to, you know, learn more about what's going on. And this whole push for 5G is just pure evil, in my my opinion. We don't need 5G. I mean. We were okay with 3G. <laughs> you know, there's there's not really that, that huge need for 5G at all. It's crazy. Earbuds, that's a good one. I should try that. I've got some Bose earbuds. They're in my beach cart, though, so I can't get them right now. So, moving on. Let's see. The Shiatsu Back Massager. That wasn't number one. But surprisingly, that topped out at 127 for a back massager. So you're laying there and you've got direct contact with this Shiatsu back massager going up and down your back. And in the meanwhile, you're getting all this EMF getting infused into you. Great, huh? Okay, the uh, microwave oven. That was pretty high. Um, even standing like a foot away, you, if you're going to operate a, a microwave oven, don't stand anywhere near that thing because that thing puts out big time EMFs. And even when you open the door, they come out at you because you can hold that this meter right there. <laughs> yeah, it's that close to my computer, but you can hold that meter, EMF meter, and you can watch it just rise. As soon as you open up the door, it's just like, <laughs> so it, it's loaded. Um, with crap that's trapped inside the microwave. Like I said, you open up the door and phew, out it comes. So, Naja is saying shungite for protection. Yeah, I would try that. Denise got rid of her microwave two years ago. Good for you. What was the cell phone? Vesna's asking. Um, well, that's, that's my baby. A baby girl. I know it's kind of like bright. Oh, <laughs> this is cool. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Water temperature hit 80 degrees today in Sarasota. Yay. But yeah, this is my baby and me. My baby girl. But let's let's see what's going on with the cell phone. And you know, right now. Surprisingly, the cell phone wasn't wasn't terribly bad. Just in a couple spots, you might get a reading or two. But you know, I'm just going back and forth on the screen while it's lit up. So we saw a max of six something there with the cell phone compared to some of the other things I've already shown you guys. Five point seven, yeah. So it wasn't really that bad. That that was surprising because I thought it would be a lot worse, you know, being, you know, wireless and everything. You know, we, we do know the dangers of the wireless, but like I said, we're still not at 5G yet. So stick with the 3Gs. 3Gs will never do you wrong. Get it, Greg? 3Gs? <laughs> I'm kidding. So... I did the foot massager. I have one of those Shiatsu foot massagers, too. And that thing came out at 80. Um, and like I said, keep in mind, 0 0.5 to 2.5 milligauss is the most you should be exposed to. A foot massager came in at 80. The back massager came in at 127. So if you got them both going on, you've got direct contact going on. Man. We're getting blinded by this stuff. It's horrible. <laughs> Kendra, try it when you are talking to someone. Can I call you, Kendra? <laughs> I love you. That's a crystal for clearing. Yes. 
I've got, I moved my um, amethyst cathedral. I've got this big amethyst cathedral, and I've got a huge quartz crystal that's in there, and I put that in the inside. I have that in the center of the house to really help protect the whole house. So it's got a little home there. <laughs> Kendra says, sure. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, like I said, the microwave came in at 180. Um, fridge and freezer were fine. The wireless speaker topped out at 150. Uh, the TV, uh, surprisingly, this one surprised me too. I would, would have thought that a television would have been a lot higher than what it was. It peaked out at 7.3, which is still high. It's about, well, maybe two and a half times higher than the max allowed, but it wasn't that bad. And when you were further away, like from where I am to my TV, it would be nothing, actually. But it's still out there, and it still exists. You know, so The Internet router, which was a popular answer by people, that wasn't so bad either, surprisingly. The max that the internet router came out at was 22, but that's going to skyrocket once they go to 5G. It's going to be astronomical. So maybe down the road, yeah, it's going to be horrible, but um, right now it's, it's still not good right now. It's seven times higher than what it should be, but it wasn't as high as what I thought it would be. Okay. So we did everything on the list except the ozone machine. This broke my heart. The ozone machine topped out at 199 for an ozone machine. The good news is that when I put it on the diffuser and held it more than a foot and a half away from the machine, Zero, nothing. So it's still putting out quality ozone, but you don't want to be near that ozone machine. That was the highest I saw in the reading. And it could have even peaked out at over 200, but I'm not sure if I actually saw that or not. But I did see the 199 on an ozone machine. And uh, But like I said, if you have the, your water and your diffuser like a foot and a half away, it's a long cord. They have like a three or three, four foot cord on there. You're fine. And I will continue to do the ozone water and the ozone alkaline ice. So we'll make, I'll make sure that it's not anywhere near the machine when I'm actually making it. So <laughs> glad I don't own a toaster. <laughs> so yeah, I thought all this stuff was really interesting. That's why I wanted to have a, a quick um, Facebook Live and tell you guys about what's going on with this, these things. And I'll post, I'll make an article out of it, and I'll post a link to where you can get this thing. And, um, and I'll post the results as well. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to be doing a um, behind the scenes where I'm actually going to be showing the people all this stuff that I've been, you know, all throughout my house and outside as well on uh, Patreon. So stay tuned to that for my Patreon people. Um, Sabrina Hurley is saying, why are we more sensitive to making it us want to puke? I never got that far. <laughs> Gosh, I, I hope you're not. Does it make you want to puke, Sabrina? Gosh, that'd be horrible. And Maria's saying, I use Shungite all around my house to help block EMF. I would love to do a test on that and, uh, you know, put it on, like, my cell phone or, you know, put it on the ozone machine and see how much it will protect and how true that is. I would love to do an experiment like that. And Tina says she turns off the router and Wi-Fi at night while she sleeps and uses Shungite. Here's something interesting. For the last month or so, I've been sleeping with, because I usually have a laptop next to me, and I listen to metaphysical videos and fall asleep to them at night. You know, those, those are my bedtime stories. But I've been sleeping with the Himalayan salt lamp on 
next to it because I know that that puts out the negative ions, which is the feel-good stuff. And I'm thinking that it's probably negating any negative stuff that I'm getting from the laptop. But I did run this on my Himalayan salt lamp. Matter of fact, I got one right here. Nothing. But at least I haven't tried this one either. But, oh yeah, the cord is coming at 8.3, 8.6, 8.7, 8.9. The cord itself, but the actual salt lamp, zip, nothing. Just putting out that feel good um, negative ions. So yeah, I, I thought that was really interesting. So if you got salt lamps, crank them. <laughs> You're good to go. Sabrina's saying, the more EMP I'm around, the more I react to it. It was miserable. It was bad for three hours today. Yeah, and we, we're seeing that. You know, a lot of people are picking up on this, especially us that are energy sensitive. Um, you know, like I even put a pillow on my, then my laptop on top of the pillow. Here, watch. So I've got a pillow here. Let's see. And it's still picking up. It's not, it's not as high as what it was before, but it's still picking up the EMFs. And I'm just moving it up and down the, the pillow. But it's still, you're still seeing a reading of something there with a pillow in between your leg and the laptop. So, Tina saying get the shungite. I will try that. I will try shungite and do that as an experiment and we'll see what happens. But I wanted just to put this out there for you guys to show you what's going on with these EMFs that are all over the place. They're in our houses everywhere. Some things that you thought wouldn't be that bad weren't. Some things that you thought that wouldn't be bad that bad are, <laughs> you know. And some things that just threw me for a complete loop. The ozone machine shocked me. 199. Crazy that it would put out that much EMF for something that is so beneficial. So I'm going to leave it off at that. This is just a real quick um, Facebook Live. And I uh, just wanted to get, get you guys up to date with um, what's going on with this thing. And like I said, I'll put it into an article. I'll put all the results into the article and uh, a link to where you can find this thing. And, uh, you know, go out. It's not that expensive either. It's only like 30, 40 bucks. It's, it's under $40. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. So um, for, for having peace of mind, it's worth it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to leave it off there. I'm sending you all infinite love and light. Thank you for joining me on this brief but informative in 5D Facebook Live. Namaste.